forget I'm back and so I was I was in the shower go figure I was in the shower talking to our Abba speaking with our Abba listening to our Abba and I was talking to him I was like Abba I don't ever want anyone to say like like I don't do these videos to try to save people like that's not the goal like I don't want anyone to ever be like yo she saved me you know what I mean I don't want people to feel like that nor do I want that responsibility because if I save you then you owe me and the scripture said oh no man right and I was like ah oh, but that's that's a you thing like that's a your jurisdiction I never want to be uh grouped in or placed on a pedestal or viewed that highly but I do appreciate you trusting me enough to pour from me to pour that in which you have placed in me from me right I'm appreciative of that I'm humbled by that each and every time y'all says hey go say this and I was just like what still you still choosing me like it's amazing and beautiful and humbling and um I don't take it lightly I don't take y'all using me as a mouthpiece his mouthpiece using me to prove him right I don't take that lightly at all like I'll be honest with you, before every video I'm praying and I'm just like, Abu, if it's not of you, make me like Zachariah. Shut me up now. Because I never want to come false claiming. You know what I mean? So we're having that conversation. And um, I started feeling like I was going to have to make a video. And yeah, I was talking to me about sea level, right? And so um, help me remember Holy Spirit. We were talking about sea level. What did you say? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's like different people are in different areas of their lives, right? And so often we can be judgmental, but also, thank you, Holy Spirit, we can be judgmental about other people when we really need to stay in our own lane. And by staying in our own lane, I mean save yourself. Don't look for someone else to save you and y'all was giving me the, these example and I was like you know what Abba you're sure right he's like yo like if you are practicing celibacy right and you know it's tough for you right now bro get in it wash and go don't be hanging out in the shower because then you're gonna put yourself in a situation to give in to your own desires and now you got to have a whole different conversation with y'all wash and go if you're practicing sobriety is that how you say it like don't be going over there to Lil' Kevin them house for the game. Like, you know they're going to have Budweiser and Ice House and, shoot, depending on how y'all live for a loco and still reserved. And I was like, oh, well, all the religious people going to be like, oh, oh, my word, she's naming all of them. Like, they don't know their daddy was an alcoholic and their mama was a drunk. Like, and your great-grandma smoked cigarettes still to this day, the long ones. Like, Stop doing all of that. That's why we can't unify as a people because we're too busy with our nose up in the air. This is where he talked to me about sea level. When well, you need to keep your eyes at sea level. None of this. All of this. Keep your eyes at sea level based on what you can see. Based on what you need for yourself. Stop being all up in everybody else's business. Stop thinking that you know more of what's best for other people. And stop assuming because you're 40, you know more about this person in their 20 when it comes to the most high. Stop assuming because you're 60 and you've been in the scriptures and church your whole life. And now this person who is 40 or whatever is telling you and it's just like, no. There's a reason why Yah get, has given the younger people the vision. Okay? The so-called younger people the vision. Because it's our we are able to our sea level. Okay? Okay. What else? Holy Spirit. Because there was more to that. And I remember you talking to me more in depth about that. Sure was. So just because you grew up in the church, back to the 60 year old people, you know what I mean? Because it's important because there's this, mm -hmm, there's this disposition that because you are older, you are more knowledgeable about this word. Because you are older, you know how to handle this word a lot better. But what in the Samuel is going on here? What in the Jeremiah is going on here? What in the David is happening? Like, just because you are older 
in age does not mean you are wiser in this word. Okay? Okay? The so-called young people, right? The younger people, there's a reason why Yah has given them the vision. Okay? Because of their ability to see. So don't assume that because you are older that they don't know. It's a lot of young people out here, right? Young in age, but they elders in the spirit, okay? Elders in the spirit, wise. Wise beyond words, wise beyond comprehension because of the Ruach in which Yah has placed upon his children. This generation right here, this is the age of the young folk. It just is what it is because Yah is using the youth yah is using the the not caring nonchalantness there is a there's a difference between generations right and some generations are better at one thing and you know what i mean not as great as um not as great in others this generation right here though is very nonchalant in your face. I believe what I believe and this is what it is. And Yah is using that for the kingdom. Yah is using that boldness. Yah is using that courageousness. Yah is using that stubbornness, right? For the kingdom. So don't assume that because you have been in church your whole life and you're going on 85 or you're going on 75 or you're going on 65 or 45 that because so-and-so is younger in age they aren't wiser in spirit listen listen okay pay attention and listen and be at c level s-e-e -E, according to the vision in which yah has given you stay at c level Stop trying to be above sea level, above that in which Yah has given you the ability to see, above that in which you are able to navigate. You just might not be there yet. And that just is what it is. You can't force Yah's hand in your wisdom. You can't force Yah's hand in your knowledge and your understanding. You can't. And if you want to, you are not trying to grow in Yah. You're trying to go in your ability to manipulate Yah's hand for your own comforts, for your own desires, for your own sake. It isn't about our Abba, it's about you, and that's a problem. You're going to have to repent for that, for sure. So yeah, that's what I was sent to say. Bless y'all for all things. He's wonderful and amazing and so loving and so kind, and he not playing with none of us. In his loving and kindness, in his long-suffering. In his grace and his mercy, he is not playing with any of us. None of us are exempt. I don't care how much you pray to the east. I don't care how much you repent. I don't care how much you on your face. None of us are exempt. Okay? I love y'all. See you. <laughs>